Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel on another episode. Today it's going to be another shop with me. I will be taking you to Ulta and CVS where I need to pick up a few essentials. I have run out of my most beloved favorite CC cream from It Cosmetics and my favorite sunscreen from CVS. So I thought Let's just go take a look at what Ulta has to offer because I have not been here in a while. The CC cream lasts, I kid you not, for like four to five months. It's worth the $39. So I'm also wanting to get a darker shade to contour with. And I prefer all of my makeup items to have some form of physical sunscreen. So while I'm looking for a deeper shade, I was thinking maybe I should just get a darker shade of the CC cream, but that's too expensive to buy when I'm only going to be using it like once or twice a month. So I'm going to look for maybe a concealer darker shade. I like the sizes on these concealers. The price is okay. However, there is no sunscreen. I have no idea why I put things on my hand. I instantly regret it. Ooh, as you can see, I am a kid in a candy shop when it comes to Ulta and nail stores. I just want to touch and play with everything. However, I am in store for makeup brushes because I used to do drag a couple years ago and all my makeup and makeup brushes that I used, it's just too old, so I threw it away. So I'm basically starting from scratch. Have you all tried Smashbox primers? I have, and I'm not a fan. I feel e.l.f., the brand e.l.f. is way better. So I found a concealer that has sunscreen in it, so I'm going to swap out that concealer I found that didn't have sunscreen and find a shade that can match with that. And I'm pretty sure I found it. It's called Dark Neutral. So I also wanted to look at Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. I love how this concealer brightens up your under eyes, but it doesn't leave any creases and it doesn't leave a cakey look. It's very natural. So I picked up another one of those. I always want to try something of Urban Decay because their packaging is so bam, voila, really pretty. Have you all tried anything Urban Decay, like eye palettes or any of those eyeliners? Ulta could be dangerous because they don't only sell high-end brand, they also sell drugstore items. So I had to check out the nail aisle. They didn't have much. And currently I am looking for the brand Essence. If you follow Fimka, she is always demoing those nail polishes and I want to get some, especially because of those brush heads. So Fimka, if you are watching, they do not have them at Ulta. I'm going to try CVS next. So what Ulta did have was Jaclyn Hill's palette and also James Charles' palette and a few of Morphe's foundations and concealers. This is new to my Ulta. The last time I was here, this brand was not. I also saw Kylie Cosmetics there too. So, so I wanted to get a black eyeliner to practice a wing, but I have hooded eyes, so I thought it would be best to just practice with a white eyeliner. <laughs> so now we're at CVS and I always pick from the back whatever item it is because I'm a freak like that, whether it be grocery store, makeup, wherever. That's my favorite moisturizer. And here is my favorite sunscreen of all time. As always, I have to end up in the nail section of CVS. My CVS actually has way more than Ulta, way more than my Walmart actually. The only downside is it's super expensive. So you have to definitely get your coupons, like the $5 any item, and apply them. And if you're a beauty insider for CVS, they definitely hook you up with some coupons. So my CVS is decked with Sally Hansen's Insta Dries. 
They literally have every color, but I saw at my Walmart, they're for $3.50 and here they're like $5. So I would definitely get that at Walmart. They also have the C&D brand. I've never tried anything C&D. I've never tried anything OPI either, but they have a lot of it. What is your favorite nail polish that you like to shop for and collect? Let me know in the comments below. Femka, I'm here at the Essence Cosmetics. Like I said, they always have the cosmetics, but never nail polish. Here's Essie. A lots, lots of Etsy, but no Essence. I will for sure get it one day. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am back home. And from Ulta, I picked up my always and forever CC cream SPF 50. I use this to cover up my white cast I get from my combination sunscreen from CVS. And I also picked up this Bare Pro in Dark Deep Neutral, a basic white eyeshadow to set with this white eyeliner to practice a winged. And I picked up the Bare Minerals Well Rested, as well as these Real Techniques brush that I will be using for the well rested underneath my eyes. All right, so here is the CVS. You guys, coupons, coupons, coupons. I love my coupons for CVS. And the first thing that I picked up is my favorite face lotion, V. And I also Oops. purchased my favorite of all time, sunscreen. It is a combination sunscreen. And Dr. Dre, if you are watching, you need to go to CVS and pick this up. I would love to know what you think of it. So I also purchased some Shea Moisture Mist for my hair and this Ceramide Gold Bond Lotion for my hands. Okay guys, so remember this, that is not for the Bear Pro. That was these liquid concealers sitting right next to the Bear Pro. So I have to go return my concealer. Cause like I said, I like all my things to have some form of physical sunscreen and the Bear Pro does not. Thank you all so much for shopping with me today at Ulta and CVS. I love hanging out with you all. Let me know in the comments below where you love to go shopping. I love to hear from you all, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Be safe and have a wonderful week. Bye.